Matsushima. Yay. So let me start by showing Sharla hi. All right, hi. come hang out with me. Hello. How are you today? Good. Excited about the weather. It's not raining for once. <laughs> I know. But okay, so is this your fault? Because no. it was beautiful this is, this is... blue skies until the second we got off the train. Comparatively, today is very nice. <laughs> it's been pretty shit recently. Fair enough. Fair enough. I've never been to this station, so I've never been out here. Okay. I usually go straight to the bay area. Mm. So, so a couple of years back, I did that, uh, what's it called? The Anime Japan Culture Convention in North Carolina. Yeah. And they every now and then come out and visit Japan, and yeah. they were delivering some art to the mayor of Matsushima. Uh huh. And they brought me along for some reason, and oh. it was amazing. And we got to spend a day together. And Chan, thank you so much for kicking off the super chat. Hello, everybody. Right now, we are in Matsushima, and we're going to head out towards the area of the Matsushima Bay and do a live stream in the area Ooh, today. Snow. And the, yeah, what? this is this is my first snow of the year. It might be snowing on the island. That'd be cool if it was some This is my first snow of the year. And it's perfect snowball snow too. Sharla. Uh -oh. <laughs> it, it didn't even like break when it hit you. <laughs> so, and not scary Steve in there with the super chat saying, yes, we agree. This is Charlotte's fault. No. Honestly, it was clear blue skies until one stop before we got here. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Shazam, Cloud Town. It's a little blue. So, how has the year been going? I guess the end of the year been going for you? Yeah, not bad. Uh, busy. Been busy doing lots, catching up since I got back to Japan. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I've been doing good. Mara was sick for a while, but he's all good now. Glad to hear he's doing yeah. well. So, pretty good at the moment. Oh, is that the bridge that we won't go on? No, we no, can't that, do that <laughs> It's just uh, down a little more from there. And Ocha Ocha Brido Taku. Uh, in there with some super chats. Thank you so much for those. Oh. Yeah. Th does does Maro get sick often? No, that's the first time he's been sick ever. Really? Yeah. It's a pretty awesome cat. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he's pretty healthy in general, so okay. couldn't really figure out what happened. So this is where we're heading right here. The Matsushima Kaigan area, down this way, and I want to give a huge shout out and some love to Onsta, oh, who has. Thank you dropped us in a lovely super chat here. I'm going to read it out saying, happy to finally catch a live stream with two of my favorite people. Aww. Thank you for all the fun you brought us in 2021. I think this is enough for coffees. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Hopefully Matsushima's coffees aren't that expensive. <laughs> yeah, one stuff was actually, so I do these live streams every now and then for the, the Patreon mm -hmm. group and they recently sent me a box of stuff Aww. and Onsta sent me a whole ton Not of away. art. Oh, art. So my whole studio right now, like behind my computer where I look at oh, is so all cool. Onsta art, so. I love the stuff that was done with both of us. It was amazing. And Chris Yamagata in here saying, hi, Norm and Sharla. Hi, Chris, and hi. thanks so much for that. And we got people wa watching from all over. Isn't there a cat island around there? Is there? Uh, yeah, the cat island. I think that's down in Fukushima, isn't it? Is it? Somewhere around here, there is one. Yeah. I, uh, this is a very, narrow space and I made the mistake of clipping my drink onto the side of me. I actually, I now carry drinks for these streams guys. So you don't have to worry anymore. <laughs> I used to have a really bad habit. So I don't carry cash as you know. Right. And so I'd get like part way into a stream. We'd be in the countryside and I'd be looking for a vending machine that takes Suica, <laughs> which in the countryside just doesn't exist. Yeah. And so. We got Wisconsin, Florida. I'm pretty sure someone said they were watching from the moon. Nice. 
of people all over the place. Indiana, Massachusetts. Why doesn't he carry cash? Because I don't like carrying cash. I Usually more often than not, I just forget to carry cash. Uh, a lot of places in Japan have gone really like digital now. It's so better, yeah. yeah. You've got all those apps on your phone for paying for stuff, you're good. Yeah, so I uh, just have a bad habit of not carrying cash, although I should. That's entirely on me. That's nobody's fault but my own. Don't hold it against them. All is well. And John in there saying, hey, Charlotte and Norm, what do you have planned for New Year's? Yeah, Charlotte, what's your New Year's plan? I don't have any plans yet, really. I'll probably just get together with my friends in Sendai, go for drinks or something. Sounds really Nothing nice. Nothing big. Yeah, what are you up to? Well, the end of every year, I take about a week to two weeks off. Yeah. And I just live. <laughs> I just, okay, so every year I have this goal, very simple goal. I tell myself, I'm gonna play more video games this year. <laughs> Never happens. Never happens. Not once. The last time that I successfully pulled that off yeah. was 2019 in December when I played Grand Theft Auto for like an hour and a half. <laughs> so the max. I've told yeah. everybody that my goal this year during the vacation is to get a Switch. Oh, what are you going to play? I don't know. What do you recommend? Do you like exercise games? There's only one out really that people seem to like. I am an exercise game. Ring Fit Adventure. Ring Fit Adventure, I've okay. I've never played it because I don't have a like a main switch. I've only got the handheld one. Okay. But people seem to like that. Um, I just play Animal Crossing on mine. <laughs> Fair <laughs> so enough. So know if that's your thing. I, uh, I have not done the Animal Crossing universe entry yet. We'll cross over to the side here. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of my, uh, we got a few more super chats in here. I don't want to miss. Uh, Burple Drink, which is just the best name ever, <laughs> is in here saying, hey, Norman Sharla, hope you have a good stream. Thanks so much for that. You're so Luda. I, I, it's really hard to walk and read. You're, yours, you, uh, you know what? Thank you. Uh, here's, to a long, healthy life for motto. Aw, uh, thank you. My kitty Mom Grebo, you. 12 years old, says hi. Aw. Hi, Grebo. Oh, she gets some pictures. <laughs> oh, Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> and Art Shibuya. Such, oh. oh, hey, Art. How's it going, Art? And you're saying, I normally don't get to catch your live streams, so with Sharla, it's a bonus. <laughs> yeah. We decided to do a live stream outside of the usual time that I do a live stream, which is yeah, crazy is good people for time. North America. <laughs> when I suggested to Sharla that we should do a live stream at like four in the morning, I'm pretty <laughs> sure there were profanities involved. I was probably still up at that point. But. I remember a few years back, you and I did a road trip through Tohoku. Yeah. And I cut it out of the video just because it was embarrassing for me. But I've got this scene where I said, yo, do you want to catch sunrise with me tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, what time is sunrise? <laughs> and I was like, uh, it's marked down as 4.15. And you just started laughing. <laughs> I, was like, no. I was like, I no, feel really I good. You're like, no, no, you, uh, you go ahead and enjoy that. <laughs> Sometimes you got to have a moment for yourself. So thanks so much, Art. Glad you could be here. I am trying to... And Eva Chan in here saying coffee for Norm and tea for Sharla. Oh, thank you. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. And Catherine Sargent in here as well, keeping the super chat ball rolling. Along with, whoa, that was a bottle. Along with Richard. Hey, Richard, how's it going? Hey, Norm and Sharla, so glad to see you're doing well. Happy holidays, Happy Richard. Holidays. Thank you. Happy holidays to you as well. And comment in here saying, I was very loud truck. I had a Garfield Monday, so I'm super happy to be watching. A Garfield Monday. I love that description. Were you a fan of the Garfield comics when I did, you were young? Yeah, I read them on every newspaper. You want to hear some crazy stuff? You want to hear some crazy stuff? My 
AirPods in my pocket. What? In their case, somehow took no. over the audio. <laughs> it's like, no, we hijack in your stream. <laughs> so in I turned the case. in the case. You'd think it would know you weren't using them. How? Okay. Thank you, everybody, for your patience. We have figured it out. AirPods in the case, <laughs> hijack the stream. We're good now. Bluetooth has been turned off. That was fun. <laughs> so and by fun, I mean absolutely annoying in every single way. But it was actually everybody's description that made me uh, realize, what, realize it what it was. Yeah. I was like, how is it rubbing up against something? The only thing that, oh my God, it's the AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much for that. You guys 100% saved that by giving me a good description of what it is. I love all of you. And Rainbow Bubble Tea says, ah, don't block, don't block. <laughs> I just, I, you accidentally like, ugh. You make it way too easy to block. Hopefully this gets you some coffee or tea. Happy holidays. Sending love from Washington. You're both amazing, insanely kind. Thank, well, you thank you so much. That <laughs> was so, man, there's always something with the technology when you're doing these streams. Yep. Can never so. be smooth. <laughs> How often do you stream lately? Uh, never. <laughs> That's a great addition to the conversation. <laughs> I haven't done one for half a year now. Really? Yeah, because I used to go out and stream with Mark all the time and then he moved to Hiroshima. Uh, so I don't really have anyone to explore with. And go <clears throat> <and> go <laughs> Feel free to come up to Sendai. I will come up anytime. Wow. Woo. We're doing Sorry. one tonight, though. Yeah, so back. for all of you who are in right now, uh, Charlotte's channel is linked, and we're going to get hit by a car. We are going to be streaming the streets of Sendai tonight on Charlotte's channel. So 100% make sure that A, you're subscribed, B, notifications are on, and C, you have popcorn. <laughs> Essential. It's very important. Oh, we're at the water. We are finally at the water. All right, and from here, from here, it's just a bit of a gamble. Um, Maybe we go. That, that, that's how you get to the island. Yeah? Can we loop down through here? Maybe not. I think the I ah okay. I think we're gonna go this way and then off to the right. Matsushima Bay Villa. You think these are apartments or a hotel? Mm, that one kind of looks like apartments. Yeah. Kind of does. Imagine having that view. Edith. So the last time that I came out to Matsushima mm. was probably like right before the world flipped itself oh, upside really? down. Longo. Yeah. I was and here in the summer. What did you do out here? I uh, just went to the island. Natsuki came down, uh, walked around a bit. Chris didn't want to walk, so we left very early. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm looking forward to actually exploring the island if we're going there. We'll go out. Now, right now, yeah, quality has, everyone's ju jumping in saying quality has dropped. And that's one of the lovely things about streaming through the YouTube app. We've recently, as I said, we have two options. We can either stream through the YouTube app and suffer through quality drops like this or we can stream through Streamlabs and have it just freeze up and we lose the stream every 20 minutes. So bear with us, bear with us. It will get better eventually. Yay, the sun's out again. Yay, it's probably not on account of me. Quite warm. And so Flus Sphinx says, oh my God, you should drag Chris along. I met that guy once. We did a stream oh, yeah. in Sendai. We did a thing. Apparently he has a, a new office or something. Oh, does he? Yeah. Haven't heard about that. There was an article about it in Japan Times. Or <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know, I really, you know what would be really cool? Look I looked curious. it up. 
That's not the balcony. It's the best balcony ever. That's scary. So the uh, the comment section is asking me to remind you that you should be calling me Captain Norm now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Norm. So we Have I you actually been out in a boat. Oh yeah. Since then? Every opportunity I can. <laughs> uh the which is twice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I was looking to see if there was a nearby marina mm. uh, that I could, because we could have just like jumped on a boat yeah, today. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be a ton Damn. of fun. I'm sure the stream quality would hold up beautifully. <laughs> so, Captain Shamisen. So there's this beautiful bridge here, which is the one from our thumbnail, which is totally not a composite image. We definitely came out here weeks ago just to get the thumbnail. And uh, we're gonna walk across this and explore the island. And then there's a little shrine back behind here with the tall Matsu trees. Yeah, I haven't been there yet. So if you didn't know about Matsushima, this area actually has a boat tour that will take you through all the little islets out here. Mm. It's known as one of Japan's three most beautiful places. And it really, really is. So, the pixels. Yeah, everyone's saying that the quality has gone just pure, uh, pure garbage again. Should we not go to the island? We'll try to go to the island. If it dies partway through, it dies. Cody in here with a super chat saying, so happy to finally catch a stream. I've been watching both of your channels since nearly the beginning. Woo! Wow. Charla might remember me from Twitter when I asked if there was a kanji for transgender. I do not remember that. And I don't Did know, you actually. recognize the, the avatar? Well, the name sounds familiar. Is there a kanji for that? I don't know. There's, there's a lot of you. Oh, no, because they use uh, katakana. Transgender. So, yeah. as far as I know... <gasps> Dude, is the bridge closed? No. You have to go into this hut and pay money. Ah, okay. Um, I thought the bridge was, like, okay, closed Okay, so this is off. so silly. So, at, like, four or three or something... Oh. This, this store will close and then they'll uh. open up the gate and you can just go on for free. So in the evening you can just go through for free. <laughs> yeah, but while the house is open and there's people working there, you have to pay. Wow. That's, that's an interesting system. <laughs> if you want to go during peak hours, you got to, got to pay. Okay, I'm going to, guys, as we go in, I'm going to lower the camera for now just to be respectful of the people in there trying not to freak them out or trigger them. <laughs> you check it. Do you carry cash? Yeah. I'll get you a coffee after. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> お昼のメニューを発見中です。店頭お金をお取りください。はい、ありがとうございます。こちらの地図持ちください。はい。ご案内してきます。あ、はい、ありがとうございます。Alright, and as we got in there, we got a bit of a super chat as well from Fight saying, Wish I could stay longer, but I've got plans for today. Love you both from Malaysia. Aww, have a, great have a day. nice day. Thank you so much. So, this is the pamphlet that we got. It's very pamphlety. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so it's got a little map. Uh, apparently, there's a shrine on the island. I haven't seen it before. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of cool things. There's a nice park to look at, some viewpoints of the islands. So hopefully the connection is good. We, we will see. And we got all the boats out there as well. We'll wait, let them get a photo. Hi, cheese. Have you ever noticed in Japan the wrong person says cheese? What do you mean? It's the person taking the picture that says cheese. 
Hold on. She's saying hi. Oh, yeah. Geez. And then the person does, doesn't say it, right? Yeah. 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 And then the, <laughs> I, I think they just think cheese is like the permission to like, <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a photo now. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I really wish we could have rented a boat. I also, with the number of like buoys and uh, Let me get a picture. yeah, all right, so let's uh, keep an eye on the quality as we go forward. We'll go forward nice and slow. This is one of my favorite bridges in Japan. And so, hi from upstate New York. Hi, hello from Mexico. Bonjour. <laughs> I I don't know if I'd actually want to drive through this area. Like there's a lot of mooring buoys over there mm. for like the the boats to stop and whatnot. Yeah. But I just feel like there I would really need to study the nautical charts in this area before I would actually go out. And Cookie Ninja in here with a super chat saying 11 out of 10 view. 100%. I agree. And ALV is saying, hi, Sharla. Hi. My cat Mochi fell seven floors today. Oh, no. Please pray. Are, how are they doing? How is Mochi doing? Are like, they at the vet now? Did is Mochi surgery? okay? That's horrible. That's really rough. And River Raven saying, hello. Great to see you two together on an adventure again. Do you have any plans or goals for the new year? That's a beautiful question. Mm, goals? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Just happy to get back to normal. I don't <laughs> yeah. really have any. <laughs> yeah, that's that's high, the goal, high right? Hopes for the new year. Just want a normal year. So everyone's giving love to Mochi in the comments. Aww. Let's take a second just to look at this view, though. And people keep dropping in money for the Tokyo Lens boat fund. People are like, the Norm boat. needs to get a boat. There needs to be a Tokyo Lens boat. It needs to be this thing that we do. So if you guys haven't already, give that like button some love. If you're new to the channel, it would mean the world to me if you'd smash that subscribe button. Super happy to have you here. As for plans and goals for the new year. I don't know. This year I got the boat license. Mm -hmm. Next year, I, I kind of want to try to learn something new every year. All right. So next year, I don't know. I, I haven't quite decided. Maybe I'll work on my kanji a little bit more or maybe I'll learn a new language. Ooh. I have no idea. New I haven't language. quite decided. It, it all just kind of falls on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and JZM saying more for the boat fun, more for the boat fun. <laughs> I've said that when the borders open up and yeah. we're all able to actually meet in person, I'm going to be doing a, uh, like a Tokyo lens boat, like tour, <laughs> like an event where we can all That'd walk so around cool. and be on a boat as we walk That'd be pretty neat. because boats are for walking. Like one of those party boats. Yeah. Do you like boats, Charla? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get seasick really easily. Do you? So as long as it's not out on a really wavy ocean, I'm good. So I had this whole plan to surprise Charla with yeah. my boat license. But then he couldn't wait. <laughs> well, I also didn't expect that you actually like watched the channel. <laughs> well, of course I'm going to see it. <laughs> so I like, I put out this video about me getting my captain's license, completely assuming that Charlotte would never see it. And then I'd be able to like surprise her with the boat. And then she like messaged me the same day going, oh, congrats on your captain's license. <laughs> I think I threw my mouse. <laughs> like, <laughs> damn supportive friends <laughs> watching my crap i'll block you so you have <laughs> oh great guys i got myself blocked again wow and it has just clouded right over <laughs> and michael and saying yeah boats for sure yeah boats and getting blocked by charla <laughs> my year is complete <laughs> oh there's less bugs this time this is great 
Last Ooh. time was there a lot of bugs. Yeah, they chased us off the island. Was Natsuki wearing a pirate outfit? He wasn't. Seems actually. inappropriate. <laughs> Missed opportunity. You know, it didn't come through. So when when we did the, the most recent journey across Japan. AirPods. It says something about Why AirPods. Why are you talking about my AirPods? <laughs> They're off. Stop. It just gave me a notification going, your AirPods battery is at 10%. I don't care. Bluetooth is disconnected. Let it go. It Let go? it go. It so when we did the most recent journey across Japan, mm. <laughs> Chris shoved Natsuki into the water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he lost his pants. And he lost his pants. Did he ever find them? <laughs> They're just floating around in the water. Like, we thought it was a bit at first. We all just thought, because it's Natsuki, right? Yeah. We all just thought it was a joke. And Natsuki comes up and he's like, My pants! <laughs> just screaming, My pants! Over How do your and over. Pants fall off? You gotta, you've got, I think you legally have to be Natsuki <laughs> to have your pants fall off. So, uh. just took his pants. And they were gone forever. So, how far are we gonna walk on this island? Well, there's a few things to see. I think if we go a little further, there's a viewpoint. Dissolved. <laughs> Someone said Natsuki's pants dissolved. <laughs> well, I honestly don't understand how they could fall off. It seems so weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think he bothered to tie them before going in. <laughs> and he just donated them. That's it, they're gone. Oh, luckily there was like a net downstream, so maybe someday somebody will be cleaning out the net and find Natsuki's pants. <laughs> like, did a pirate die here? It'd be kind of worrying to find clothing in the water. Well, it's one of those situations, like, have you ever been in Tokyo and just found like one shoe sitting on the yeah, side of the road? Yeah. What is up with that? What happened there. There are little mini subcultures about Japan that I always wonder about, like the one shoe subculture. It happens quite often. Yeah. Like, if you don't know this, Japan has a lot of these minor subcultures that, careful, there's lots of mud here, that you otherwise wouldn't know about. And one of them is the one shoe subculture. If you spend enough time in Tokyo, at some point, you, will see one shoe. you are bound to find just one shoe sitting like, and it's always in a weird place, like on a bench. Or in front of a convenience store. Or like in the men's washroom. <laughs> like, yeah. like, what happened here that they felt the need to abandon this shoe? You know another really weird subculture that I've only recently stumbled on? Oh. The 6 a.m. car men. What? What's that? So around Tokyo, especially, if you look at the parking lots at about six o'clock in the morning yeah. or on the side of the road, there are men who have left for work early, oh, have their yeah. engines running, and are sleeping in their cars well, they do that at nighttime, all over the too. city. They just want to get out of the house. Yeah. You see that at nighttime, like 11 or midnight. They just pretend to be at work and they sleep in their car yep. in the Komini parking lot. So a lot of these guys have just like rocked up into like a parking lot somewhere. And they've got their engine running and they're just... would you rather just... sit in your car than go home? I... Things I... must be bad at home. <laughs> <laughs> so and cody in here again saying i had to go find it you tagged yoshi san and he said there's there's the kanji there that must Hi. have been ages ago it, ten, ten ko no ten <laughs> <laughs> both of us struggle to read it Struggling, wonderful <laughs> uh well, that's cool. That's I wanted good to know. Thanks, wanted to know said. for an informed tattoo. Haven't gotten it yet. My Twitter handle is Kyuketsuki Kyuketsuki93. If that's familiar. Uh huh. Yeah. Wait. You. Oh, you're gonna get a tattoo of this. Mm, I, yeah. I wouldn't be able to confirm that for you. And I feel like it's not really a kanji that's used a lot because, like I said, it's it's used in katakana. Mm. Normally, so yeah, can't confirm that one for you. Get a Charlotte tattoo. <laughs> that, it's not my that. suggestion. That's Don't one of the comments. I was just reading the comments. <laughs> Charlotte looked over at me like, "What the hell is wrong with you?" I'm reading the. It was not my original idea. 
You don't want people to get Charlotte tattoos? I don't. Why not? <laughs> Nobody looks good in a tattoo. No, people tattoos of people never. Yeah. Very rarely. I'll say very rarely. Have there you seen any of those like cases. online memes where somebody tried to get like a tattoo of their baby done or something? And it looks like a little <laughs> demon. <laughs> the teeth are always creepy. Yeah. Like, oh, never wow. ever works out. Ooh, so. I've never been up here. This is nice. Oh wow! Look at this, guys. Oh, here's the shine. We so glad we made it. So, Sharla, you can tell us the history of this shrine. <laughs> it was built in 700 AD. Okay. Uh, burnt down once and then they rebuilt it. I'd be, honestly, you're probably so close on all of that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that applies to every shrine in Japan. Do they have this shrine? I never, uh, I never give the real history. You just I'm, make it I'm up. just defaulted to be like, Exposed. this is Japan's oldest shrine, dating back to the year 1986. <laughs> That's not old. It was built by Duran Duran <laughs> and is made entirely out of Cheetos. So, oh. Cheetos shrine, in case you've ever wondered. Probably not. Like maybe if it was your own boat, but I'd be very cautious about rocking up to an island on a rental boat. Why? Because uh, if you ground the boat yeah. accidentally and you get stuck, the insurance probably would be like, hey, you messed up. And Jonah Hunter in here, keeping the super chat ball rolling, saying, sending love from South Carolina. It's been so fun to watch this YouTube family for entertainment and education. Big love for Norm, Charlotte, Chris, Natsuki, Jody, Connor, etc. There's too many to list. We do really have a great community of people. And these star stairs are not actually wide enough for my feet to fit on. Look at how, t look at how tiny these stairs are. <laughs> These damn 80s shrines. <laughs> 80s shrines. <laughs> and Chan is in here saying, I qualified as a boat handler in the UK and have a boat license in Australia. Just saying in case you need a cabin boy or someone with boating experience. Cool. That's actually pretty cool. Those are like. They're weirdly small. You don't want to do them in the rain. I wonder why. People had smaller feet in 1986. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gonna go down the stairs, heels only. <laughs> heels don't even fit. What the? Side of the feet, side of the feet. We're going to. <laughs> it's the only way to do it. All right, I guess we're going this way. <laughs> Charlotte's like, I'm good for anything. Never be down. How's the connection, by the way? How is the quality? Does it look any better than when it looked like this whole live stream was being streamed from a potato? That was wonderful. Shall we go around or cut through? Yeah, cut through. Let's cut through. Looking good, sounding great, AirPods disconnected. <laughs> I, oh. Okay, so funny story about these AirPods. They have been through it. So before I tell the story, I wanna give a, a huge thank you to Miss Sweets Crafting, saying thank you for your videos. Uh, with a chronic illness, I doubt, oh wow, I'll be able to visit Japan. Your videos give me the chance to experience other cultures. Aw, thank you. Thank you. I. Uh, that tree is just kind of giving up. It's going to lay down for a bit. I talked about how when I started the channel, one of my main things was I didn't think my parents, uh, who, like my mother isn't able to properly walk, so I didn't think they'd ever be able to come visit Japan. Yeah. I kind of wanted to share Japan with them and people like that. Yeah. So, yeah. So these AirPods, 
Oh boy. Got the first set of AirPods. They're great. Love them. And then one day they disappeared. And I, uh, I was like, okay. And I searched for weeks. But I got really tired of being, bringing along my big noise canceling headphones everywhere. And I was like, I'm going to have to bite the dust bite the bite the dust i'm gonna have to die i have to bite the bullet and get a new set of airpods so i went on yahoo auction which as you know yeah. has stuff dirt cheap uh, i've actually I, never used it okay and airpods pro are now at zero percent thanks for the update so unnecessary <laughs> that's good don't, and don't worry about them anymore. so i found like a pair of airpods pro noise canceling yeah like super dirt cheap yeah it was like six thousand yen or something yeah so of course I grabbed them and a day after they arrived, I'm drinking with a buddy at my place uh -huh. and there's this drawer where I keep a bunch of alcohol Yeah. and I must have come home one night and been like, I gotta have some drinks <laughs> and like drop my AirPods oh right my into God. that drawer because I opened up the drawer and the there's my other after. pair of AirPods. No. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So, luckily I was, because they were so cheap, I was able to sell them off at like the exact same price that I Aww. got them for. <laughs> so, yeah. But, and it's a good thing too, because that second set of AirPods, the, they weren't very honest about them. Oh. The battery only lasted like an hour. No way. They were oh. in prime condition, must have been kept Itchy. in a case. Yeah. But, huh. yeah. And Mariah is saying, would love to have a drink with you guys. Charlotte, do you drink? Sometimes. I like making cocktails. Okay. I, like, the last time that you and I had a drink was probably 2019 or the end of 2018, somewhere around there. Yeah. It was in Tokyo when we went out and played pool and all that. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that was last time. Yeah. Ages ago. That, it just feels like literal ages. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's literal entire lifetimes ago with everything that we've been through in the past Honestly. like two years and whatnot so i uh still get questions about our camping trip though we could go now wouldn't be enjoyable not in the least <laughs> i think we'll need to cold. wait until the spring spring would be good yeah so we should go to fuji in the spring that'd be awesome what do you want to do at Fuji? Just see it. <laughs> <laughs> we get there, Charlotte's like, all right, I'm good, we're done. <laughs> I've never had a proper view of it, really. I've only climbed it. I haven't seen it from afar. So what was your experience of climbing Fuji like? Uh, shit. Sounds about right. <laughs> there was a typhoon, so we got stopped at the eighth station. They wouldn't let us go any further. Oh, God, no. Like, we could have. It oh. wasn't, like, illegal or anything, but they said it was too dangerous to go, so we had to turn around. Let's try not to fall here. It looks very slippery. Yeah. It's good. Not too bad. So, we, uh, we did have a planning, a planning trip camped for this year. We had a camping trip <laughs> planned for this year. But Charlotte's been through some stuff this year. Uh, if you <laughs> are curious about what all that is and what happened, all of that is up on her channel. You've been uploading fairly regularly again, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Back to regular programming. Oh, God. We have returned to our regularly scheduled Charlotte in Japan programming, Charmeleon today i thought there'd be more people out i feel yeah. like we just i don't feel like there's actually going to be a way down when we go over here what if we go this way I feel like we'll just jump off the cliff that should be fine <laughs> uh and dr justin in japan saying greetings from okinawa love seeing you together <laughs> such a great energy Happy Charlotte is healthy and back in the country and oh, Norm is you. tripping. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, this looks promising. This looks like a proper path. It looks like there may be a path there. So. 
think they're all connected. It's like a big circle. While we did get like clouds over, at least the sky has got some nice colors. Yeah. You know. Should be a good sunset perhaps. I think if we come from down here, I'm gonna try not to fall off the edge. Again. I don't know, Charla. It's looking shady. <laughs> Oh, the bridge is over there. Yeah, we want to go that way. We want to go back. We We're very good at this. We should probably just follow the path back. We should, uh, we should start an entire channel for doing this. It's walking around in circles. In yeah, <laughs> we should just call it walking around in circles. <laughs> It'll be a great channel. Everybody would love watching us walk around in circles because <laughs> we're so good at directions. Hey, Norm, weren't you going to do Hokkaido? Hokkaido was the goal, um, but if I'm going to be doing Hokkaido, if I'm going to be going all the way up to Hokkaido and Sapporo and whatnot, I want us to be able to do it in the snow. And every available day that I have had to go up there, has not been snow. Oh, sure. And then the days where something else is booked, it's like, haha, snow. Yeah. So we will get up to Sapporo to do a live stream. We will enjoy the snow. And if I get one more notification for my AirPods, it's like, your AirPods have been left behind. I sure <laughs> hope so. <laughs> like, at on. this point, they're about <laughs> to be left behind. Let it go. These are the most sukoi. AirPods in the how do you how do you say sukoi? Annoying. Annoying. Obnoxious. Obnoxious overly persistent. persistent. Yeah. yeah. In your face. Yeah. In your face AirPods <laughs> is what we're gonna call them. Oh, I just gotta leaf right in the ear. Nice. It's like the best part of my day. Okay. So I guess we're okay, the buzz this way, yeah. Making our way back this way. Oh, it's warm today. Didn't need this. It is. And Baba Kush saying, hey, Norman, Sharla, Hi. glad I can make another live one. It is 4 a.m. in Ireland. No way. So oh, thanks for staying up. An early Christmas, an early Merry Christmas in case I don't make another. P.S. My mouth is still watering from the ramen video. <laughs> so you saw it. Yeah. I went out and did this video over on Tokyo Lens. It's the most like fancy ramen I've ever seen. I don't think they couldn't get any better really. Over the top. Yeah. <laughs> and the gentleman, I actually, all I asked him, I was like, do you have any days where you don't have any like reservations or bookings? Yeah. I'd like to come and kind of shoot your ramen just cause I think it's super interesting. Yeah. He was like, cool, yeah, come out. I was like, can I interview you? And he's like, yeah, sure, come oh, out. Oh, awesome. And then when, uh, when I finished the, the shoot, I went to pay the bill. Yeah. And he's like, no, 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 no. Aww. And I was like, why? That's nice. And he's like, well, A, you, you made a video, so thank you for that. And B, he's like, you didn't get to eat the, the ramen in its best state, Aww. in its best condition. You know, you had to, you had to work. Jeez. You had to film. That's so nice. And uh, so I see this as you and me working together. <laughs> And I would never ask you to pay to work with me. Wow. I was like, you are so sweet. And so, yeah, awesome guy. He uh, did not let me pay. So I think I'm going to go back and take some friends there because they have equally awesome looking ramen huh. for about 2,000 yen. Like regular ramen. Yeah. yeah. But like with beef on it. Huh. Wow. And uh, that's only like what double the price of a normal bowl of ramen. Yeah. yeah. So, think. Okay, we're this going. The, yeah, we're going the right way. I know where we are. So, and Annette is in here as always. Annette, thank you. Hi, Norma and Sharla. Coffee, Hi. tea for you both. Thank you. Whoa, this is slippery. Please don't fall. Charlotte's wearing really like light colors and there's a lot of mud. <laughs> oh, that would suck. And I'm just like, I, I just see today going badly. <laughs> I have to take the train back. That. <laughs> I would literally just rent a car and be like, no, oh my God, I almost went down. How funny would that be if I'm the one who goes down? 
At least that would have entertainment value. Uh, walking is, through the field wasn't a good idea. No, we've made some poor choices. This is a walkway over here. Let's adjust our life path. I can just see us setting ourselves up for failure here. I will say though, end of the year, you've been through a lot. I've done a lot of travel over the last month. Mm, yeah, man. This it's is busy. by far, I think, one of the most chill days that we've had. <laughs> Good. Glad you can get a break. I, uh... What's going on here? Look at that. Oh, wow. Origami. They're serious. It's very cool. Nice catch. Why'd they leave it out in the rain? It's paper. Look at the... I, I'm in love with the turtle. Look at the crabs! Why y'all so busy? Multi-headed dragons. Oh, it's one of those um... paper airplanes. No, <laughs> one of those fossils. Oh, what are they called? You don't know which one I mean. No. You didn't like dinosaurs. I like dinosaurs. Don't accuse me of things <laughs> like that. See, there's a dinosaur. I saw it before you did. Oh, so true. <laughs> Whoa, what are those? Rock hopper penguins, apparently. Rock hopper penguins. The ones with the free ears. There's a Pegasus over there. That's the biggest origami I've ever seen. It's absolute craziness. I actually tried some origami the other day. Did you? <laughs> what did you make? I tried to make a dragon. And I started because I stumbled on a YouTube video, as we often do in a day of work. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. I bet I could make that. And I started folding. And before I realized it, I'd been at it 15 minutes. I was frustrated and confused. And I realized there were still 45 minutes of the video left. And I quit. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> like, I was like, long. I'm not putting an hour wow. into folding a dragon for literally no reason. <laughs> I feel very bad about the 20 minutes I've used to grab the paper and do this much. So, yeah. The dragon took a back seat. <laughs> It's still sitting under the desk. <laughs> okay, if we go up here and then turn right, it'll take us back. Yay. Always happy to be with a Sendai expert. <laughs> That's my Sendai expert song. <laughs> I've been working on it for exactly nine seconds. <laughs> Meet up Tokyo. I've been there once or twice. It's a good place. Okay, I see where we are. Yeah, the first viewpoint we came to. That's here. Hey. Turn down there. See that card? <laughs> <laughs> so, Amazon. Bucks. I came out today and I delivered Charlotte's Christmas gift to her. The only thing is, only could you. <sighs> for some Byakuen, I. You get to keep the dynamo? I think you do. Cool. So, full confession. I found Charlotte's gift when looking for a gift for Chris. But Charlotte's was slightly cooler. And so, I just bought two. <laughs> and they were huge. And so I had to buy an actual like cart like that guy had <laughs> and cart these two massive boxes all the way from Tokyo Worth this morning. It. Yeah, should have seen the looks I got as I got on the shami on the shamisen. Damn it, Shinkansen. Shinkansen. So people are looking at me with these like giant boxes, like what in the world are you doing? Shinkansen's been so busy recently too. I've had to sit by someone every time I ride it. The other day, the only one available was the green car. Yeah. And so I took a green car, which is supposed to be the more luxury of experience. Yeah. It was awful. It's not very different. I Grand like... class is different, but green car is just like a slightly better seat, I guess. But I think they pressurized the cabin differently. Oh, no way. Because my ears were popped no. the entire trip. <laughs> Yeah, and then because the service is supposed to be a little bit better, mm. 
instead of the cart coming through once or twice during the trip, mm. it comes through like every Constantly. five minutes. <laughs> so like you can't even relax. Like yeah. Now we need, what is it? We need a drawing of Norm on a shamisen now. <laughs> okay, I want to know, can someone tell me, did this guy just like swim to his boat? How does this work? Oh. Yeah. It's just it. like I'm just gonna leave my boat here and float away. Maybe he's he's underwater right now. Is the boat just slowly floating away? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah. But I guess it could be tied somewhere and he just pulls it in. That's uh <laughs> and we had to run all the way. It followed us all the way back to the bridge. Really? We couldn't tell what it was. They thought it was a hornet, so we were running from it. <laughs> <laughs> it was following me. I just have so many questions about this boat, and it's never going to go away. I'm always going to have it in my head. Where are the, s the ropes? Do you see ropes? I feel like if we get to the front, because... The, the anchor should be coming from the front mm. and it should like, that means the wind's coming in this direction. So it's facing the direction that the wind is coming from, right. which means I believe it's anchored. Well then, yeah, how does he get to it? I have so many questions. He's just stuck. He just lives there now under the, under the sea, <laughs> under the sea. Maybe it's with her, don't know. <laughs> Damn, I got it backwards, <laughs> but we tried. Solid effort, six out of 10. Thanks for playing. Be here all week. This is like the beginning of a Stephen King novel. Why? <laughs> I'm just reading the comments. Oh. <laughs> I should probably make it a little more clear when I'm reading comments. <laughs> he has a tiny boat for his boat. Yeah, see, he is anchored in there. What the hell? Maybe the tide goes out. Maybe. Maybe. It might. I don't think I've ever seen it out that far. It feels like that would be like a bit of an extreme distance for, for the tide, you know? That's the only And like, the who only tide parks their boat? Very wow. Weird. Maybe he pole vaults into it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh. well, fair, it doesn't look like anyone's used that boat in about 10 years, so. The motor's still attached. I just, I have Maybe many questions. Ten years ago, that's where the shore was. <laughs> it's just eroded. Oh. Nice weather. Yeah, as we leave, the, the sun comes out and things get really beautiful as, as they should. We've got a garden to go to. It's weird. I'm super curious about the new boat. I think I will be forever now. <laughs> Norm, please show Sharla my comment. I don't know what your comment was. Oh, no. Did you see my comment, Norm? I'm getting a lot of like, ugh. Is that your comment? Is your comment <laughs> ugh? Do you like wearing uggs? I think this person likes wearing uggs. That must be it. And I see one deleted by Elf Lass. So. If the mods deleted one of your comments, that might be it. I don't know. But uh, I've never worn Uggs, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And hello from Ohio. First time catching a live because it tends to be 11 p.m. when you stream. See, I told Norm this would be a good time to stream. <laughs> I didn't believe it. I, uh, I've been watching you for three years now and Charlotte for at least five years. Oh, Hope you both thank have a you. good holiday. Oh, Thanks thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. And Chris Yamagata keeping that live stream super chat ball rolling with a little sticker that says, thanks for being you. Oh, I love those stickers. Ah, oh, love the bridge. Just such a good walk. Is that the only island you can walk out to here then? I think it is. I, guess so, yeah. 
I think we need to go rent a boat. Mm. I, uh, there is like a marina that I'm a member of. Oh, yeah. And so if they have a location and they have boats available and everything, yeah. you can usually rent a boat. Oh, cool. Specific locations like Tokyo, like Tokyo Bay has its own set of laws. Right. You need to do like a seminar there first and learn all the laws and everything. Oh, okay. But areas like this, they give you the boat, you study the nautical charts, you check the weather, and you're good. That'd be awesome. Be good in the summer. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it probably like would not be the best experience to go out in a boat right now. Probably not. The water is nice and calm. Yeah, it is. I wanted to you wanted to do a video out on a boat. And we drove like three hours out to the coast to meet the fisherman at like 8 a.m. And we get there and he's like, yeah, no, we're not going out on these waves. Like, Why didn't you phone us? <laughs> we just oh, drove three hours to the coast. That is so <laughs> painful. <laughs> Apparently it was like the biggest waves he had ever seen. They were like coming over the, the breakwater wall. And he's like, yeah, I've never seen the waves come over. <laughs> yeah, not going to want to. No boat ride. Not going to want to be on that boat. Oh, yeah, we have to go through the thing again. We go back through. And Hashim in here, keeping that super chat ball rolling, saying, Hi, Norman Sharda. Merry Christmas from the U.S. Merry Christmas. Thank you for all that you do for us. Well, thank you so much for that. Is she got... Is she looking through binoculars? Is she bird watching? Are we going to get eaten? And for anybody asking about the gear and whatnot that I am using, I am currently using an iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is a beautiful... I see you looking at vending machines. Let's see if they do. They do. No, they have a hot lemon juice. No hot lemon tea. I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to have a sip from my drink. Try not to drop the cap. Mm. That did not go smoothly. <laughs> you can hold something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't like lift it up high enough, so I kind of had to squeeze the drink, <laughs> but I squeezed it a little too hard and it like filled my nose with. <laughs> oh, so now I got coffee nose. Disaster. It was just all the bad things happened at once. <laughs> so that was tons of fun. And as an update to the Siren Tokyo saga, Siren Tokyo that? has been timed out the, the 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 person who really loved uggs who uh -huh. wanted me to read their comment for you but it was somehow retracted by one of my mods a huge thank you to the mod squad for all the attention and love that you guys give super appreciated love having you guys here also just fun to chat with so we've got uh over on the patreon discord we've got an entire like hangout for the mods oh that's nice and we just hang out there and we get to share all the craziness. Yeah, I guess I better try and convince some people to mod for me today. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> They've forgotten that I stream. Uh, any of, uh, if any of my mod squad is over on Sharla's channel uh, and you guys want to help out with modding today, I will keep an eye on the chat and give Sharla a heads up if you pop up. So, And Brooks Northcutt. I love when there's like people, like many of the people here, who have been around since like the start of the channel. Yeah, you can really recognize those Yeah. Uh, in here saying, holy cow, I caught a live stream. Hey, Sharla. Hi. Hello, Norm. You're both good people sometimes. Hi. 
didn't Hi. say sometimes. I added the sometimes. <laughs> so it was it was an unnecessary <laughs> sometimes. But also, I don't when on the Tokyo Lens Explorer, I don't often turn it around like this. Really? That much? Yeah. Mainly. I just kind of keep it facing forward, but I wanted to just show you our smiles and say hello from us. <laughs> All right, let's look at the beautiful stuff over this way. Beautiful. It smells like squid. That's a very specific thing for it to smell like. Does it not smell like squid, do I don't know what squid smells like. This. Is that real coffee or coffee flavored drink? I don't know if I want to ruin... Do you like canned and bottled coffees? I don't like coffee in general. Okay, then this won't ruin anything for you. I recently found out mm. while shooting a video yeah. that these yeah. are not real coffee. They're coffee like flavored sugar, beverages. Sugar and milk. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of coffee syrup. Yeah, it's like the same flavoring that you would have in like a coffee candy yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. They're so sweet. So, uh, let's walk up to that little bridge up there. Sure. That's a cool little area. And uh, we got a little bit of a story up there also. So, when I came here and I got to meet the mayor of Sendai, uh, a uh, woman kind of showed us around the area uh -huh. and she showed like her house is over there. I'm not going to show which one exactly, but she said that when the tsunami came through here, because the tsunami did hit this area, guys, it lifted up her car no and like brought it right in front of their door and they couldn't get like out what? the front door because the car was there. The yeah. I heard that the little islands kind of protected the area so there wasn't too much damage. Mm. From the Makes sense. Uh, there was a Tim Hortons question <laughs> in here. What's your opinion on Tim Hortons as Canucks? It what? is the best crap that you have to have it's just because like it's there. It's not overly good or anything. No. <laughs> I mean, it's like the Mr. Donuts of Canada. Yeah, it's, it's just... not high quality or anything. It's just everywhere. Zuma so you can... Wow. Zunda Zunda Agepam. Actually, all that food looks really good. Yeah, you want to grab some food? Uh, sure. Uh, gotta get that. It's like a donut. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the uh, Zunda Age Pam. There's a warning here about the seagull. Uh, there's a warning. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? I need... I'm going to need a further explanation. They're going to steal your food. Is that what they mean? And they'll probably I steal your wallet too. Is my guess. We gonna... met a nice one on our trip. You met a nice yeah, seagull? Yeah, like following us on the, the bridge. It really like nuts. The music is kind of ruining it for me. I'm not gonna lie. It just doesn't feel like the right music. <laughs> like in beautiful like Matsushima Bay, about to get like okay, Zunda Age Pam. And then, said it'll be three minutes. And there's like gorgeous bridges and whatnot over here. And then they're playing like boys to men. So this uh, this building over here, I can't remember which one it is. I think it's this one. She has really good restaurant up on the second floor. Yeah, it's just one of those standard Japanese lunch teishoku style places. So, really need to head to bed, but I made sure to join Norm's Patreon first. Cody, what? Probably see me again floating around Discord. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Super excited to have you. We're just waiting for our, our Age Pam. I will, I will post about it later. So, thank you. Wow. I thought Norm was going to say it was also built dirt by Duran Duran in 1986. Oh, and in the next update to the Siren Tokyo Saga. 
They have now been hidden by the mods. I have not managed to pay enough attention to know what's going on, but it must have been fun for the mods to end up having to hide them. So, hey, Sharla, when was the last? Oh, here's a question. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, are you ready for this? Brace yourself. I'm ready. When is the last time that you ate meat? Well, I do have like dashi and stuff here and there, so. Okay. Like an actual chunk of meat? When's the last time you had a big old steak? I don't know. That's well, probably I've, not the I've question. I've never but... liked steak. I think somebody took me out for a steak for my 19th birthday. Okay. That might have been the last time I ate a steak. And it just didn't play out well for you, right? So, 16 <laughs> years ago. 16 years ago. <laughs> I've always been grossed out by like slabs of meat, so. Fair enough. <laughs> I wish it would kick into like the third lens, like the zoom lens. All right, and we're like just a few seconds away now from our Agepan. So if you don't know what Agepan is, it's basically like a, a donut. And uh, <laughs> oh wow oh you were not kidding oh that's ah uh, it's uh, it's okay it's okay i can handle the pain you gotta uh do you want to do you want to sit here and show people our reactions to the, let's put the tripod down and okay wait for it to cool a bit we're gonna do this oh boy it's so hot that table is just gonna fall right it over. It smells like a McDonald's hamburger. <laughs> it actually kind of does. <laughs> Ladies hell? and gentlemen, when somebody yells, smell it at you, you probably need to take a step back for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> when is the last time that someone's yelled, smell it at you? <laughs> um, so it's kind of like crunchy. It's kind of like a donut. I don't want to call it like yeah. a Japanese donut, but agepan is really popular in like elementary schools and whatnot as like a, a snack for the kids. It's like fried bread. It's literally what it translates to is agepan fried bread. I'm really scared to bite it. It's so hot. I just <laughs> blow the icing sugar on my leg. <laughs> Oh, not that bad. Really? In terms of overall heat, like the inside, watch it, you'll burn yourself mm. on, because I did. Oh, damn, that's really, really good. Sharla, give us a random Shin Godzilla fact. <laughs> I don't know. Shin Godzilla is the new Godzilla. In the scene where I think there's two people, or maybe it's just one person looking off into the distance and Godzilla is in the background, I'm like hiding behind the the platform that he's standing on, <laughs> hiding from the camera. <gasps> so mm. how would you describe the the nakami, the, the innards? Um, well, it's like that milkshake that we have. It's called oh, it's edamame. It's, it's like sweet edamame. Yeah, would be right. it's edamame with sugar in it. Whew. It's a very subtle flavor. It doesn't have a strong taste, so it basically just Tastes like a plain donut. Mm. Was Shin Godzilla that project that you did mm. through the introduction yep. of? Yep. And has he ever? No. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh. oh, it's very hot in the middle. All right, I will proceed with avoid, caution. Avoid the middle. <laughs> it's about. Mm. Is Japan real? No, it's like a green screen. Open. Look at my leg. <laughs> I feel like it's probably my fault, but. Um, so if you didn't already know this, Japan isn't actually a real place. This is all being shot in the same studio that was used to shoot most of the Marvel movies. <laughs> and we are just surrounded on all sides by green screens and a giant <laughs> treadmill that just turns as we walk to make it look like we're moving forward. So. Mm. 
Have you seen the new Matrix? People Have you? talk about the Matrix. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. You know what really kind of breaks my heart? This is the first new Marvel movie, the one the 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 what the new Marvel movie. No, not I give up. I don't watch superhero movies, so no. I probably won't get the reference. Spider-Man. Oh, the new Spider-Man. Yeah, I've heard a lot about it. Is one of the first ever Marvel movies that wasn't released globally at the same time. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like they're just giving up on movies lately. Everyone seems to have enjoyed Spider-Man. Where'd you get the LSD? Well, LSD is a limited slip differential. It is the part of a car that is used to lock the back tires when drifting. And uh, you can get them at most auto parts stores. What's the name of that car store? Autobats? Yeah, Autobats. Wow, there's there. just... Oh, wow. We're making such a mess. It's just weird. The seagulls will be thrilled. Look at my bag. Dangerous seagulls. <laughs> I'm scared to eat the middle. I've just, like, worked around the edge. I definitely burnt my tongue a little bit. At one point or another, you're just going to have to go for it. No, it hurts. So... What is the filling in the donut like? It's, we we talk, go back about 75 seconds. Mm. Um, you'll find it there. Very mild. I was so happy to see that the chemise and fleshy is still mm -hmm. on the shelf. Mara so. loved it. Yeah, do you want that back? <laughs> you said it was like a... It's actually a pre-production. Yeah, it's an older model, right? So, I recently released a... Shami Sim plushie that I've spent the last 18 months working on and sent the pre-production model out to <laughs> Sharla and it was more than anything just to get Motto's approval. He loved it. And we he got... He cuddled it right away. It was really cute. Motto's <laughs> approval. Norm, are you a robot? How did they know? <laughs> I don't understand how they knew. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Justin in Japan saying, here's some movie popcorn for when you finally decide to go again. Aww. And huge love to Type Beast, who has dropped the Shamisen plushie in there. This oh, is only nice. gonna, I've just done, I'm not gonna say how many I've made. It's gonna be a one run limited oh, run. Yeah. And I've already got other Shamisen players who've been like, yo, we wanna like, well, we wanna so kinda make our it's own the first version. one ever, yeah. yeah. Large part of it was like, you walk through, like, you've, you've been to that sh like Shemisen shop in Tokyo, right? Mm -hmm. You walk in and you're like, oh, this is a cool thing that I've looked at and I will now leave without spending any money yeah. because there's nothing for me yeah. to buy here, right? Whereas if you were a tourist and you walked in and you saw Shemisen plushie, well, you'd be like, yeah. I'm going to support this shop. Definitely. So I've sold it to a bunch of Shemisen shops around Japan. Have you? At cost. No way. Yep. And they're going to sell them. Cool. It's just, I, it's all That's for nice. them. So, all right, shall we explore? There's more to explore. And just got off work, Norm and Charlotte stream. Yay! Happy holidays <laughs> to me. Good. Hope you guys are enjoying Matsushima. Thanks for letting us tag along. Thank mm -hmm. you for coming. For stopping by. And Chan, have either of you ever met a Nihonjin who likes durian? Nobody durian? talks durian. about it here i really <laughs> kind of forgot they existed i've heard about them a lot in canada it's like a very common like troll gift at offices in japan uh, yeah. is it your mask is covered in no in oh my god what happened there <laughs> <laughs> lovely that's just i have no idea what happened there okay let's go so, yeah people will bring it from overseas as like their little trolling gift and be like, hey, do you guys like Dorian? How do they get it into the country? Uh, they get it in like, like what is it, like the dry uh, fruit packages and yeah. strips and all that. So, all right, let's walk around and do a little more exploring of Matsushima while we still have a bit of clouds. Whew. This area as well, there is, where is it? Is it up over here? I can never remember. 
there's a nice tea shop nearby here mm. where you get a, a beautiful view of Matsushima. Oh, nice. So when I first came to Japan, I brought a Sony Handycam with me mm. and had uh, something like 12 tapes, 18 hours worth of footage. And one of those, one of my first places that I visited was here. And I made friends with a guy as I walked through this very space. Mm. And then when I went to get on the Shinkansen, he just happened to be sitting right beside what? me. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Are you still friends? Uh, no. <laughs> it was like what? 2005. I don't, I don't even think I had an email account. Shania cat is still here. Is a Shania cat? They play Shania Twain. Is that it? That's it. Let's go. Oh lord. Oh boy. All right. This and I'm getting this stream flagged it's been as here well. For like ten years. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Doggy photo shoot. <laughs> This always is very confidence inspiring. Why'd they do this? So much fun. Feels very safe. It's like the That's safest so you could possibly feel in Japan. Did you do a stream out here before? I did a video. Not a stream. Okay. People were saying they recognize the cat. Yeah, it's from my video. I thought that light was a monkey. Yeah. Off to the left. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was a monkey, but I thought it was a monkey. What is that noise? Fighter jets. Yeah, it sounds like a fighter jet. What the? Where's the fighter jet? I want to see the fighter jet. Don't tease me. Yo, if you're going to be a fighter jet, be a vision. Oh, come on. Now it's gone. Uh, there's a there's a base over down this way. Oh, is where, that? Yeah. Uh, where they often take off and land from. Oh. So you get the fighter jets every now and then. And a ferry. And I really want to rent a boat. <laughs> Have you ever been on the boat that goes through the islands? Yes. I've never been on so one of my favorite experiences coming out to Sendai for the Matsushima for the very first time mm. was I got out of the station and I went the wrong way. And I came across this shrine. Mm. And at the shrine, I met this older gentleman who was like, hey, do you want a bit of a tour of the shrine? Do you have time? Do you speak oh. English? And I was like, yeah, sure. And he walked around with me and then he bought Aww. me lunch. What? <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, oh, by the way, my friend runs the boat tours. He'll give you a discount. Just say my name. That's awesome. And so I got there and he's like, oh yeah, he just called me. Just get on the boat. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> and so, yeah, my very first visit to like Sendai Matsushima was maybe my fourth day in Japan or something. Wow. And was an incredible experience. It's busy all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> Again. What time is it? We gotta make sure that we get to the garden before it closes. Everything closes so early. Oh uh, yeah. It is quarter to two. Okay. Yeah, we should head there. Okay. I think it closes at three. Alright. Yay, my first live chat with you guys. Hi from Phoenix. Well hello from Matsushima. We're having a pretty chill stream today. We're uh we both got that end of year energy. <laughs> Honest question, Charla. Mm. I know I shouldn't be asking this question, but I'm gonna ask it. Okay. Have you also been eating more at the end of the year? No, actually, what? not really. I feel like, no. like, I feel like you just threw me under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do some baking. I did a little bit um, and then just ended up giving it to all my friends. I gave some to you. Yeah. Charla if I were in Canada, tin. I would be. There's not really anything here to eat. <laughs> it's not like there's any like holiday dishes available or treats or anything. You know what you need. If I were in Canada, I would be eating. 
You need a Costco Mince membership. Tarts. That's what I would be eating. Costco delivers to my house. Don't Costco delivers? Yeah, don't even need a membership. What is this blasphemy? <laughs> it's awesome. Is that like a special service? Don't know. Just through one of those delivery food apps. Okay. All right. We'll be looking into that later on. <laughs> Look at that. We do uh, fresh sembe. Fresh sembe? Yeah. <sighs> and Kawaii Arcade Masters says, love Costco here in Japan. Yeah, it's a lifesaver. Lots of good stuff. Yeah, every now and then, like, I desperately wanted a real pumpkin pie this year. Does Costco have it? Costco had pumpkin pie. I just want bread, for Christ's sake. Bread. <laughs> what <laughs> kind of bread do you white, want? Anything that isn't white. Oh, yeah, they got the whole grains, and they got yeah. the muffins, and they got the... I, uh, I usually buy about eight packs of bagels oh and God. then freeze them. My whole freezer. If you open up my freezer... You just have a big freezer. <laughs> it's just nothing but bagels. <laughs> and I like half flatten them too. Oh like I'll like squish them all down so I can fit more in. Because <laughs> then when you like, you nuke them to like defrost them, then they just like fatten back right up. Do they really? Yeah. The more you know. Swing. Was, that was a legally required swing. <laughs> Canadians will understand. Hi from minus 18 degree Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Are you okay? Have you, have you been out to Calgary? I have been before, yeah. I would not want to be in Calgary during this time with the minus 18, minus no. 20, minus 30 degree weather. No. Absolutely not. My little brother spent a bit of time working on one of the oil rigs no uh, out no west. Way. Yeah. Oh, wow. And he said it was among one of the worst jobs he's ever done. They pay really well for it, but you basically have the risk of dying anytime. Jesus Christ, why? It's just a very dangerous job. Uh, oh. Lots of heavy machinery oh. and heavy machinery always comes with its own risks. And okay. so... Yeah, he used that job to save up to come to Japan for a trip. Aw, the one where he came to see you. Yeah, and yeah. then he uh, <laughs> he was going to come out for like a week. Oh. He extended it to two. He extended it to three. <laughs> he gave up on the job. He just stayed <laughs> in Japan as long that. as he could. <laughs> He's like, when else am I going to have a chance to come out to Japan? So he just made the best of it. That's cool. So this area here actually used to have big, tall trees like this on both sides. And yeah, as you can see, they these ones down. here, they took a lot of damage in the uh, tsunami. Yeah. So this here, I've got footage of this place from back in 2005. And both sides are just lined with these big, huh. gorgeous trees. And so now what they've done is they've removed these ones and planted new ones at a safe root distance. And they're just kind of waiting for these new trees to grow all the way through again. And Kent Millard in here keeping that super chat ball rolling saying, Hi, Sharla. Hi. Hi. Hoping to go to Japan in May and wanted to know the best resource for finding vegetarian restaurants and ryokans uh, that serve vegetarian meals. Looking forward to visiting the Wales of August. Oh yeah, that's an awesome bar. You definitely okay. have to go there. Um, Happy Cow works in Japan, so. Happy Cow? Happy Cow is the best for looking up restaurants. It won't have ryokan on there. You have to mail each ryokan specifically and ask them if they can make a special meal for you. Mm. Um, I don't think there are any that actually have it on their menu. So you have to make a special request and see if they're up for it. Oh, really? Um, it's hit or miss. Okay. It's, yeah. Thank but you for sharing that pain. little nugget. Mm. What is that gear thing? Oh, that's uh, also built by Duran Duran oh, yeah. back in 1986. <laughs> um, that was the uh, that was the the gears of war. <laughs> I have no idea. 
Uh, let's go find out. And a huge thank you to Mariah as well as Jimmy for keeping that super chat ball rolling. Jimmy in here saying, happy holidays to you both from Berkeley, California. Always appreciate the positive energy in your videos. Stay safe and have a great Aww. time in Sendai. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go find out what those what wheels are. I feel like Charlotte's never gonna let it go. I need to know. She's gotta really? know. And my Duran Duran explanation clearly did nothing for her. <laughs> Serious efforts have been made and rejected. So. Going Shoujin Dodi is probably the easiest way. Yeah. For traditional vegan food. I, uh, there was, where did I see? There was, have you seen the reviews? the review responses from the monk have you seen that what? there was an article about it these like the there was a bunch of reviews of this temple uh. and this like monk responded uh -huh. really aggressively no. and they're like this shojin yori stuff is bs it's like doesn't even taste good and blah 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 blah, oh, so blah. people were complaining about yeah. the food about the food about the shoujin accommodations awesome. about everything and the monk would be like you entitled western piece of <laughs> 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 like, seriously like just because your taste buds aren't sophisticated or refined enough to tell the difference between good food and fucking mcdonald's doesn't mean no our food isn't way. good and like they were the most seriously google uh Go, what is, I gotta find some of these because is there what? see told you it was Duran Duran it's a 100 year uh -huh. anniversary of the railroad uh. um, so I guess that's a train wheel okay Naruhoto, not Duran Duran <laughs> maybe it was dirty and dirty and Oh no, there's a follow-up article. Buddhist monk apologizes for angry responses <laughs> to reviews of temple. No. Oh, come on. How can you say anything bad about shojin yori? I, every shojin yori I've had has been really yummy. Like, there's got to be some in here that are still, like, active. I'm trying to find any of the... It's a crank, says Bob. Oh, there they go! Oh, yeah! Wow, they are flying in formation, too. Woo! Oh, that made my day right there. That right there, peak of my day. Okay, yeah, here it is. Um, oh, show me the image. Okay. Uh, we enjoyed our stay, and we're happy to visit Koyasan, right? Yeah. And then one of the negative points was a lot of people staying. It was a bit touristic. Uh -huh. The monk replies with, you're a part of that. <laughs> or here's the best. Here's the best. Weird food in a great location. We are here deep in winter and outside of our bedroom, everything was freezing cold. The vegetarian dinner and breakfast was quite unlike any food I've ever tasted. Strange. What? And here's the monk's reply. Yeah, it's Japanese monastic cuisine, you uneducated <laughs> <f> <laughs> This is his actual... Dude, this, I don't the, know if I can... These like, are the best replies ever. <laughs> he's just not having it is he at Japanese? all. It turns out he wasn't Japanese. <laughs> but <laughs> he, he just like went viral for like some of the most aggressive and angry responses I've ever seen and I'm everyone shocked, loved him for it. Have to pay for a ticket. Okay. Then uh let's go here. Yeah. Tech machine. Yeah, so I'm gonna go like this. Guys, excuse me for a second. I use my phone to Oh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We're back. Sorry, I had to squeak out the. Uh... Oh, it's a fancy ticket. Oh, look at that. Fancy ticket. Damn. All right. There we go. All right. Uh, what time? What's 
And Funder 720p only. Yeah, it looks like you might have missed a few streams, but go back, get caught up, and you'll know exactly why we're at 720p. Huge adventures! All right, do we give them the. What are you doing? Bye. Ah, pamphlet. Thank you. Thank you. I always feel bad. I don't know about you receiving pamphlets because, like, I don't, I don't, look I don't look at them, and I like don't want to just throw out another piece yeah. of paper. They you know. Have explanations of everything, like after so. so, right now, the, what's the English name of this place? Beats me. This is the Beats Me <laughs> Temple, and. Um, oh. Perfect. That one on the on the island could have been built in 700. Maybe I was right. This is the usual Let's route. Take the usual route. <laughs> no originality here. We are taking the original route, the usual route. It was all built by Duran Duran. No sound. Do we have no sound again? Really? Oh oh, come on. <laughs> is this a real thing? Is your uh... Bluetooth on. I hear sound. Okay, you have sound. Don't make me panic. And Katrina Johnson, how's it going? Is in here saying hi from Tuscan, Arizona. So happy to see you both streaming. Found a Switch game unpacking through Sharla oh, and game. really liked it. Yay! It's what fun, is, isn't it? What is that? So it's um, a pixel art game. Okay. So it's just really cute pixel art, and huh. you're this girl going through life. Oh. Um, and you, it takes you through like all the different apartments she's lived in, and you have to unpack her things when she moves into the apartment. So all you do is unpack boxes and put the items like on the shelves. But it's really relaxing. Interesting. Do we have to go through? Because it says no cameras in there. Um, Let's go around. I think we can go around this way. Alright guys, so they've asked us not to record, so I'm gonna point this down since they're gonna let us go through and we'll just zip through here quickly. It's gonna be respectful and just zip through. Nice place, good carpet. <laughs> oh, nice garden, wish I could show that. And, yeah. Got them squeaky Japanese floors. All the squeak. <laughs> right? Hi. They would see. I have a light off. At least they're being really patient with us. This is huge. <laughs> this is the never ending hallways. there. Looks like we're almost out. This has been the most exciting part of the entire journey. Oh, 
Is this it? There's so many turns that need to be, how? This place just does not end. Just keeps going. Worst ninja ever. <gasps> There's the exit. <sighs> oh boy. We are almost there. What? Wait a minute. This is not the exit. This is hilarious. Okay. We, uh, this is where we started. <laughs> this is quite literally exactly where we started. <laughs> I cannot wait to see Charla's reaction. Charla, it didn't take us through to anywhere. It took us back to exactly where we started. <laughs> we uh so i told you i should start a channel <laughs> walking around in circles that was a super adventure right there <gasps> Whew. yeah i don't know where to go right there's like a there's a garden somewhere there's an actual like garden and like moss and all of that. I feel like that's this way. So we gotta go back out? Like, oh yeah, I think it's separate from the shrine. Yeah? So. I could be wrong. I remember there being no. another entrance down there. Another entrance, okay. Might be the garden. I'm gonna laugh so hard if I just paid 14 bucks <laughs> to run around in a circle. <laughs> to run around in a circle and then leave. <laughs> I swear the garden, because there's no garden there. That's just no. Garden. We are gardenless here, so that's lovely. It kind of would have been nice if there were signs at the entrance that mentioned like the no camera thing. Would have felt a little better. But, you know, we are where we are. Yeah, I think the garden is on this way. Okay. So we're going to walk down this way. See if we can't find the garden. Yay. Looks like a nice tea shop. It does look like a nice tea shop. <laughs> I just, I, yeah, that's the name of the garden, isn't it? And Huh. Right here. Okay, well, we got some steps in. That's a huge plus. <laughs> Super healthy. Ooh. Matcha. Actually, that food's looking real good about now. Oh, hell yes. We should definitely get some matcha later. Matcha amazake. <sighs> matcha amazake and katsudon. Matcha biru. Matcha biru. What is that? Is it anago? Wow. Look at that. And Chan is saying, I think you need to go back and take the unusual path. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you two count as usual people. The usual path was the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> the look usual. at all these flavors of ice cream. What a selection. Wow, look at that. There's a lot of flavors of ice cream. Is there anything weird? Wasabi. Wasabi to you. you. No. <laughs> I bet the sake one's nice. Tofu. Gotta make up for all the calories we just burned. <laughs> make our way down to... Uh... Okay. So okay. This is the garden. This is the garden. I don't think they take Suica.
ちらですねこれ使えないのではいあ,あ,あのトライパードだかなわかりましたはいじゃこちらこっちですありがとうございます,あり,いますありがとうございます、うん so Weirdly, they're saying that I can bring the phone in, but I can't use my gimbal, so I've had to rip the gimbal off. <laughs> what, a, what a weird approach! Okay, I that is nice. I I'm so confused <laughs> about this no gimbal thing and the fact that. What? Should I just put it back on the gimbal? I want to know why. I think it's for like when there's lots of tourists yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. You know what? Honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back on because <laughs> that's really weird. I'll just keep it close to my chest and if they ask me to take it off, I'll be respectful and do so. But there's not other people here. So, again, it's just like jaywalking. If you guys are gonna call the cops, do it now. This is your opportunity. I've admitted to my crime. What a rebel. Yeah, usually one of the big things is that uh, during the, the peak touristy seasons, there was a lot of people with selfie sticks and tripods yeah. and everything like that. And it was constantly in the way. And I think they implemented the rules back then and have just kind of kept them since. That makes sense today. So it like, when I'm the only person walking through here with a camera, I think we might be okay. Or we'll go to jail, who knows. Oh Don't be coy with me. That was a really bad joke. You probably shouldn't have laughed at that. Shut up. I was like, I wasn't laughing with you. I was laughing at you. I think this is actually my first time to come out to this area as a whole, like in the winter-esque season. Yeah, me too. So. They're gonna send, oh no. Oh, big spider. That's a gross spider too. Ew. Lovely. Possible jail over a gimbal. Huh. At the most, you'd get a very polite request to, <laughs> to remove the phone from the gimbal. It's the worst that you're gonna have, honestly. The, uh, the, did I ever tell you about the time that I got caught on the rooftop? Oh, like, just being there. Just being up there doing photography. Oh, and then the guy, didn't he like, he was nice about it. Yeah, he grabbed me by the arm and he's like, no, no, no. And I showed him the camera and he's like, no, 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 no. Better view over here. <laughs> and like unlocks a gate. <laughs> that was awesome. It's like, I love this country. This area in the spring is actually incredibly beautiful. The way all of this moss and the trees frame this shrine yeah, I can see is the really, really nice. So, and with that being said, in such a peaceful place, I think that considering this was like the goal for our stream today, we can start wrapping it up. A huge, very important reminder so that you don't forget two things. Number one, if you haven't already, give that subscribe button some love, give the like button some love, but above all else, I know, I know some of you watch without subscribing. I still love you. I really do. But I'd love it if you'd give that subscribe button some love. Don't forget to turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss any impromptu future streams. Not all of them will be announced hours in advance like today's. And Sharla is going to be doing a stream on her channel yeah, tonight. tonight around Sendai. They've got a really nice light display up that's famous in Sendai. I haven't seen it yet, so I thought we could go explore it together. So that'll be probably around 9 p.m. Japan time. So how many hours from now is that? We got about seven hours. Seven hours from now. Or so from now. So. On my streaming channel. 
Charla's channel is linked in the description box. So make sure you jump into there, check it out, and we will see you guys again around 9 p.m. Thanks for joining, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>